Hi, I'm Brian Kleiman from Riverside Reptiles, and today we are going to feed a uh, baby northern water snake that actually my son caught this past summer. And um, typically I don't keep wild caught animals, but since I use them for educational programs and I have a new program called Snakes of Connecticut, and I didn't have an, uh, a northern water snake, um, I decided to keep them and we're starting to acclimate him to uh, captivity. He's doing very well. Um, I have the cage top open and he's looking at me because I'm going to feed him soon. And uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit how, um, how I feed captive water snakes because water snakes typically eat uh, fish and frogs. And since I love frogs and I don't like sacrificing too many amphibians for the snakes, um, I feed them fish. The problem with feeding them fish though, especially um, pet store goldfish, which are high in fat content because they are cold water fish, um, or um, fish that I catch in, in the ponds or the streams, um, they often have parasites in them. So I feed them uh, tilapia, uh, which I buy at the, uh, the supermarket. Now the problem with feeding them um, tilapia and other fish with, uh, that have been deboned is that snakes need the bones from uh, their food for uh, calcium. That's where they get the calcium, um, which in aid obviously helps them grow, it helps their bone growth. So right here, I have um, his piece of tilapia, his sashimi, and then right there um, is some Reptivite, which is um, a calcium supplement I use for reptiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this delicious sashimi, and I'm going to roll the end of it in this calcium supplement. I don't want to roll the whole thing in the calcium supplement because that will take away from the smell of the fish. And that's, you know, that's how I'm going to get him to eat. He's going to smell the fish and uh, be attracted to it. So I don't want to take away from the smell. And we're going to use forceps to keep my, the rest of my smell, human smell, off the fish. And um, he's a small water snake. He's uh, not even a foot long yet. We're going to try to do this carefully because he still is a little shy. I've had him for, for most of the summer. You can see he's sticking his head out of the water dish right there. We're going to see if we can get him. To, usually they're attracted to movement. So we're going to try and wiggle this fish like I would a wild fish. Here he comes. Now I don't want him to take it into the water and eat it, which it looks like he's going to do anyway. Because that would wipe all the calcium off. Hopefully he doesn't take it into the water and eat it, which he might very well do. Um, it isn't the worst thing. Yeah, there he goes. He's taking it into the water to eat it. Hopefully some of the calcium will stay on the fish, but we're going to let him go and finish his sashimi. Because I don't want him to spit it out. <laughs> 